paints a thousand words. But what about the meaning painted by a word itself, its shapes and lines on a printed page? Hi everyone, I'm Karen and I'm a graphic designer and illustrator based in Nelson, New Zealand. I run Moondog Design and Illustration, which is a freelance business and I've been doing that for the past 12 years. I have an advanced diploma or associate degree in graphic design and advertising and I do a little bit of everything, mostly digital art, graphic design, web design and also pattern design. So with my background in graphic design, I have a really good appreciation of typography and the way that it can make or break any design project. So in this class, we'll be looking at typography, specifically at text posters, which are going to end up as wall art. This class is for pretty much any level. If you're a beginner, we'll be covering some great points and this will come in handy in the future also with any other design projects. If you're more advanced, on the other hand, you might find it useful to go back over some of the things you might have forgotten. You will need a computer, a notepad and pen to take notes and to jot down ideas, and you will have a choice between two different design softwares. I'll be making a poster in both Adobe Illustrator and Inkscape. And the reason I'm doing this is that I realise for a lot of beginners, Adobe Illustrator is a little bit costly to keep using in the long term because they are on a subscription model. And Inkscape is actually completely free. So you've, if you've never heard of it, I'll put a link in the project area and you can just download that and follow along with the videos as you go. As with every Skillshare class, there is a project for you to complete. I've designed the videos so that you can follow along and do a step in the project after each video. The project for this class is to create your own print ready text poster. And I'll be detailing the steps that you need to take to do that in the next video. So in the meantime, head across to the project area, download what you need, and let's get started.